Typically, one of the final steps in building a record type is applying security. In Appian, you'll apply security in layers to ensure that the right people see the right data at the right time. Let's walk through how security is applied to record types in Acme Auto's fleet management application. We'll cover record type security, record level security, and view and action security. Starting with record type security, you'll determine who can see any data. Object security is configured when you're creating the object, or you can change it at any time by clicking the gear icon, then security. For this app, I can keep it secured to the administrators and users group, but it's helpful when you want to be sure only certain groups can access the data. Next, I'll go to record level security so I can decide who can see which records when. Record level security is available when you have data sync enabled. I'll go to the record level security page and click new security rule. Let's say I want the supervisors, registrars, and administrators to view all vehicle records. I'll keep users found in groups selected, choose AA supervisors, AA registrars, and AA administrators, then keep all vehicles selected. I'm including the AA administrators group so developers working on the app don't get blocked by security while they're building the app. After I click Create, my security rule appears. I can also test it right away. I'll select a user who is in the supervisors group and click Test. This shows me the percentage of the total records they can see, the number of records, and a preview of those records. Next, I'll add a rule so mechanics can only see vehicles that are currently in maintenance. I'll add another security rule, choose the AA mechanics group, and choose only vehicles where. Here, I'll select the field for the vehicle status. As the value, I'll choose a constant that I've already created for the status of in maintenance. I'll save changes and test this rule as well. As long as a user meets the requirements for a security rule, they'll be able to see those records. They don't need to meet all of the rules, so my registrars and supervisors will still see all vehicles. Finally, I'll move on to views and action security, which is on its own page in the record type. Let's start with views. By default, all users will be able to see the summary view of a record. But let's say I also created a view for compliance and documentation about the vehicle, like the insurance, registration, and safety inspection. Only registrars need to see this view, so I can click the edit icon, then under who can see this view, choose only users found in groups, then select the AA registrars group. This way, only users in the registrars group can see this view. You should also add the AA administrators group so anyone administering the app can see the view. I can also add more conditions based on the data. So for example, only active vehicles. Next, I'll switch to the action tab where I'll configure security in a similar way. Only registrars should be able to add and delete vehicles. Similarly, I'll click the edit icon and then select my registrars and administrators groups. Under conditions, I'll use the is active field so they can only delete active vehicles. Action security is also helpful to ensure that the right actions are available at the right time. For example, in the maintenance record type, maintenance requests can only be started if the status is requested or delayed. This prevents the action from appearing at an illogical time. You shouldn't be able to start maintenance that's already in progress. And that's all. To test that the security works, I'll add and remove myself to the appropriate user groups. As a supervisor, I can't see the compliance view, nor can I add or delete vehicles, only update them.